Hello there folks, it's Alex here and in this video we're going to be having a look at Wondershare Filmora. I'm going to show you how to edit in Filmora, how to use some of the cool effects and transitions, give you some key pointers and some things to watch out for and give you a guide so you can get professional results easily using Wondershare Filmora. Now for those that don't know, Filmora is a relatively cheap video editing suite that's predominantly designed at beginners and those looking to get into YouTube. Now, as I say, it's cheap, it's not free. So I'm just gonna head to the website here, which is filmora.wondershare.com. Now there's a free version, which I'd recommend you download and try if you've not used it before. However, all of your exports will have a watermark on them. Now, if you want to buy Filmora, it's 40 bucks for the year or 60 bucks for a lifetime license. They also do deals for businesses and education and it's available on Windows and Mac. Right, with that out of the way, let's open Filmora. Now, when you open Filmora, this is the first screen that you're going to see. Now, there's two options within Filmora. There's a full feature mode and there's an easy mode. Easy mode will do all the work for you. You just drop clips in it and it will put them into a default template and off you go. Now we're not gonna look at that today because it's too easy. We're gonna have a look at the full feature mode. There is also an instant cutter if you just wanna chop videos up without doing anything else to them and there's an action cam tool. All right. now the first thing you're gonna to want to do is click here and you need to set your ratio. It's gonna be for widescreen, standard, Instagram or portrait. Now most of the time you're gonna select widescreen. That's the default ratio on your phone on most PC screens, laptops, YouTube, etc. So you want it at 16 by nine widescreen. And then you're gonna click on full feature mode. Now, as with all video editors, there are three key elements to editing in Filmora. The first one is this box up here. Now this is your media bin. This is where you store or you add all your media which you're going to add to your video. So we're talking clips, music, uh, photographs, anything at all. Over on the right hand side here, this is your preview window. So this is where you watch your video back as you're editing. And at the bottom here, this is your timeline, which we'll get to shortly. Now to navigate Filmora, you will use this menu across the middle. So media, as I say, is your media bin. Music, this is all the music that's included by default within Filmora, but you can add your own. Text and credits, so these are all the text elements and title screens that you can add. This is one of the key features of Filmora because some of these look really nice and they're really easy to use. Transitions, this is the, the transitions between clip to clip, so there's little animations which move from one clip to the next. Filters, same as your Instagram filters, you can improve the colors or you can make it more contrasted or you can change the color of your video. Again, that's just using these. Overlays, these are things like effects. You've got sparkles, bubbles, dirty film, etc. Elements, these are small little animations which go over your video. So you can see we've got a crown here or there's a for sale sign or a heart, whatever it may be. Again, all these are included within Filmora by default. Split screen, if you're a gaming channel and you want video on video, you'll go to here. And finally, you've got export, which is when you've done, you export your video. Let's go back to media. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is add some media. Now, you can click on this icon here, or you can click import, and then you can choose to import media files, import a media folder, or import from your camera or phone. Now, by default, everything will go into this My Album. That's fine for a few videos, but after a while, you'll start to get a whole load of files in here, and it can get a little bit confusing. So what I like to do is click on this icon here, which adds a new folder, give it a name, and then I'll import my files to the relevant folder. So it just keeps things a little bit tidy. So I'm going to click this icon. It'll open up my Windows Explorer. I'm just going to browse to my folder, which is this one here. I can highlight all my videos, or I can just select a few. And then I'm going to click on Open. Brilliant. So you've added some media clips to your media bin. Now you just need to add them to your timeline. Now you can do that in one of two ways. You can click on the little plus that appears on each of your little thumbnails, like so and it'll pop on your timeline, or you can simply drag and drop. If you need to add multiple, you can highlight a couple of clips and then drag and drop. Now, timelines work sequentially from left to right, and you can view everything by moving this marker here. So I click on this marker and drag it through my video. 
If I want to preview at any point, I can click play here, or I can just hit space on my keyboard, and the video will play. Now, as soon as you've added anything to your timeline, I highly recommend you click on file, and then save project as. Select your location, give it a name, and then hit save. So it's definitely worth saving at regular intervals. To zoom into your timeline, there's some controls over here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna click the plus to zoom in so I can see things in a bit more detail. I'm gonna go right to the beginning of my clip and I'm gonna hit play. Now you can see from the start of the video, I'm messing around with my drone a little bit and it's a bit choppy and that part of the video I don't want. So I need to cut that out. Now the easiest way to do that in Filmora is move your mouse to the beginning of the clip and you'll see this icon appear. Now if I click and hold my mouse, I can drag to the point where I want the video to start. So this is all not very good. I want the video to start right there and then let go. And that'll cut that part of the video out. Here, I believe, I stop moving. So this is the point where I want to cut this video. I want to end this part of the clip here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Head to the end of the video until I see this icon. Click and drag all the way back to there and then let go. And it will shorten that clip. Now if I play that clip again, it starts from the point where I start moving and then it ends perfectly and moves on to the next clip. Now you can also rearrange your clips. So I've adjusted this clip so that it's the right length, but it's at the beginning. Let's say I don't want it at the beginning of the video, I want it somewhere else. I can click, I can drag, and I can just release it to, to re-time to move things around on my timeline. And that's the first thing you want to do. Add all your clips to your timeline, put them in the order you want them, and then adjust them so they're all the right length. And that's what I'm gonna do now. And another quick tip, once you've added anything to the timeline, if you give it a double click, it'll bring up the properties menu. So the videos here, you can rotate them and transform them, adjust contrast, saturation, brightness, clip speed, etc. If you've got music on here, this is also where you adjust the volume and that sort of thing. Once you're happy with that, you can start adding some other elements. So I'm gonna add some music. Now music works in exactly the same way. If I wanna preview what the music, I can double click on the, the thumbnail and it will start playing. Now I'm just gonna pick on this, and I'm gonna drag it, and I'm gonna add it to my timeline. Now you'll see I'll add it to a different track on the timeline. So this at the top is for the videos, whereas this one here is for audio. And you can add numerous layers to start building up your video. Now this video is far too long for my really short clip, so I'm gonna trim this down. And there we go. Now let's say I wanna add some titles. I'm gonna to go to text and credit. And again, I can double click to preview what this looks like. And if I'm happy, I can drag it to my timeline. So let's find an over, a nice overlay one. Let's go with that. I'm just gonna drag it down here and add it to this track here, which is for text. And now if I hit play, my video is playing, my music's playing, and it's got the text on there. To edit the text, I'm simply gonna double click on the element on my timeline, and it's gonna open this window here. So I can go Filmora, I'm gonna change this to Drony. And that's edited that text, but I wanna add it to Travel Collection as well, so I just need to go to my preview and give that a click, and it will change to Travel Collection. I'm gonna put Isle of White, because and it's off center, so I'm just gonna click and drag and move that roughly there. You can also select fonts from here, you can select sizes, you can bolden, you can italic, and you can change the color of the text if you need to as well. When you're happy, click on okay. Now let's go to the back and preview that again. And there you go, dead easy. You can do the same thing if you wish to lengthen or shorten the text. You can drag the same as you would for any sort of video. So if I elongate that so it lasts for the duration of the whole clip, 
and there it is. So that's our videos, our text and our music done. Now at the moment it just jump cuts, it cuts from one video to the next. So we need to add some transitions. So same thing again, transitions, preview them if I want to. I like it as nice simple dissolve, so I'm going to click and drag. Now this time you need to place it across the two video clips like that. So it overlaps over the two and then release. And then if I play, it'll just blend between the two clips. So I'm going to add that to all of them and then play. And there we go. Another one I like to add is in overlays and it's in the cinema 21 by nine. So I'm going to drag that on there and it changes the ratio to be 21 by nine, which adds those cinematic black bars to your video, which just gives it a nice look. And with Filmora, it's as easy as that. So you're just selecting the elements from this media bin here and dragging them and dropping them as you need to retine them so you're happy and that's it and once you're happy with the video you can then export it so i'm going to click on export and you'll see this screen now this is a standard video export screen you can export it for a phone format you can export directly to youtube to vimeo or to a dvd now generally we're just going to do a video output first of all you need to select your format all these are common formats and will work in most places. I generally stick with MP4 because that's widely recognized. Give your video a name. Select the location to which to save your video. Again, it's just a relatively standard file explorer. And then you can change the settings. So there's some default templates at the top, best, better, and good. Then you can change things like your resolution, your frame rate, the bitrate, and that sort of thing. Once you're happy, click on OK, and then just click Export. And for more, we'll begin converting and exporting your video. And that's it. Then you're all done. I hope you found that useful. Filmora genuinely is really, really easy to use. You can add some really nice transitions and effects really easily, which should hopefully help you create some really professional looking videos. If this video was useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, pop a comment below. And as always, if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks again.